Hey guys, it's KJ48 and welcome back to my Minecraft Feed the Beast Infinity Let's Play. This is episode 11 and um, I'm just down here in the mines because I needed to get some obsidian. Now, I found a lava pool and uh, we're going to get some obsidian the easy way. Uh, well, I hope it's going to be the easy way. We'll have to see quite how easy it is. But um, I'm going to be making a beeline for a pickaxe. I want to make a nice pickaxe, okay? Um, I want a pickaxe before I go into the nether. So when I harvest the stuff out of the nether, hopefully I can get some kind of fortune on the pickaxe and get more stuff back as I mine in the nether. Uh, I'd assume that will work, but I don't know. I don't really, I don't really remember how how uh, fortune works. I think it only works on stuff that drops like items, like diamonds or redstone. I don't think it works on stuff that drops uh, ores, but I'm not really sure. Either way, I'm gonna want that pickaxe. So let's see what we want to make the pickaxe out of. I think what I want to make it out of is I need a handle now. Obsidian tools have a handle modifier of 0.8, but the tool actually, but the, but the it says the obsidian rod down here gives it a reinforced level three. So I'm not really sure. I think I'm gonna make an obsidian rod and see how that works. I'm not sure what this means. You know, like the obsidian rods give re re reinforced level three, but then again, the durability is terrible. So reinforce is supposed to get better durability so i'm not really sure what that means we're gonna give that a shot um but what i'm gonna make the rest of the pickaxe out of is i'm gonna make an, an illuminate um uh, for the head and i believe i am supposed to make paper for the hilt i'm not really sure but uh i'm gonna look into that but first things first let's get into some let's get us some obsidian if i sound like i'm stumbling around it's because i'm actually quite sick today um i just took a bunch of uh cough drops and and uh you know got myself situated i have to make some videos today or i'm not gonna have videos to go up so uh, i apologize for that but uh you know gotta do what you gotta do okay so let's go ahead and take our oh okay also here let me just go over this really quick quickly with you guys i went ahead and made a digger's backpack which holds all my dirt and cobblestone i also made a uh miner's backpack which holds all the uh all of the ores and stuff that i get i got 20 diamonds on this trip by the way uh what else did i do okay so i want to show you how to make these so let, let me show you quickly how to make these in case you don't know backpack miner's backpack is just like that piece of cake get some string get some wool no problem and the digger's backpack is pretty much the same thing except with stone. I also went ahead off camera and added uh, to my bronze hammer. I added, I added haste effect with uh, redstone uh, blocks. And I'm going to add some more up top. I just, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't fully add all of the redstone blocks because I wanted to do some on camera. But uh, that's what I did. I added some redstone blocks to that bad boy. And um, I don't think you can add... Uh, I don't think you could put um, fortune on this on this hammer, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Pretty sure you can't, but I'm gonna try anyway. Okay, so let's get some uh, let's get some stuff here. So first thing we gotta do is get rid of this lava, and then we gotta dig down, make sure there's no more lava below. Okay, looks okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we're just gonna look around here. Yep, there's some. Alright, that should get rid of all that lava. Nope. Uh, I think we might need a... Let's grab some cobblestone stuff here. And do that. Nope, it's still there. That's gonna be a little tricky to get rid of. Alright, there's quite a bit there. Uh, we'll do this. Will that get rid of it all? Yes. Okay. Alright, so I just want to make sure there's no more lava underneath here. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good up to... Nope. 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 Alright. It looks like we can get a few pieces here. So what we're going to do is we are going to give ourselves some room here. And one more. Uh, I'm trying to think of how this is going to work. Yeah, this should work. This should work. I'm going to put this right here. And we're going to grab our trusty mining turtle. And one, two, three. We only want him to go out three spots. Did I bring any coal for this guy? I did not, but I think I might have harvested some coal. I did not. There should be some coal around here. Yeah, there's some. I'm trying not to mine all this stuff because I want to wait until I have my fortune pickaxe, by the way. So, alright. 
So let's put you right here and give you some coal. Okay, and do tunnel three. And then he'll go minus up some, uh, some obsidian. Oh wow, he's actually putting obsidian down below him or something? That's kind of... Oh, he's using the obsidian to walk on. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, well, he got us only three pieces because he was putting the obsidian down to walk on. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, let's uh, do that. And we'll have him mine one more. I'm not quite sure how much obsidian I'm going to need for all this. So, All right. Uh, did he use that coal piece? He did. I don't have any more coal. Whoa, whoa, Jesus. I put all this rock down here to, to make sure I stay out of the lava, and then I almost just jumped in it. That's so, that's so me, right? All right. There's easier ways to do this. There's a block that can, well, I don't know about easier. Um, I love the mining turtle. So if you have a mining turtle, uh, this is, this is probably the easiest way to do it. If you don't have a mining turtle, you can always use a thing called, it's like a rock smasher or something. Uh, but it only mines like one piece at a time and then you have to pick it up. It's kind of annoying. So I decided to go with this. Now I shouldn't put any more blocks down. What he was doing was he was floating in midair. So in order to not float in midair, he was putting blocks down below. But the only blocks he had was obsidian. That's why he put the obsidian down. All right, six obsidian should be enough for now. Okay. Let's get back up top. Okay, I'm back, and I just put a bunch of obsidian in the smeltery, so it's gonna do its thing. I also wanted to show you something cool about these bags. If you hold shift and right click, no, hold shift and left click. No, hold shift. Wait a minute, control? Yeah, there it is, control. If you hold control and right click, this is the way the bags come. If you hold control and right click, you can lock it so nothing will go in the bag. And then if you, and if you do green, I'm not quite sure what green means, but if you do it again, you get the yellow down arrow. And then that means you could automatically put stuff into a chest. Like you can see right here, there's nothing in that chest, right? And then if you shift, right click, no control, it's always control, control, right click. You put everything in there, see? Now we don't need that stuff in there, so I'll just take that out, but that will uh, go through the system. I got a little system set up here. We got the survivalist generators on top with a nice buffer of leadstone energy cell. Um, and this is a nice setup, and this is our goodies that we've gotten so far. Okay, so let's just dump this. 45 diamonds so far. Not bad. We should probably have some coal with us. I actually threw some... The nice thing about this setup is if I... Here, let me do it right now. If I throw spruce wood in here, or any kind of wood, it's gonna... It's gonna suck it through into here, and it's gonna automatically make charcoal. It's a really nice uh, thing. So, like, this is, a, this is a nice setup, but if you put if you put wood in the middle box, it'll, autom it'll automatically make me charcoal, which is just awesome. Alright, let's throw some of this stuff in here. Just trying to get stuff out of here. I gotta do some. I gotta do some management uh, off camera for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade this bronze hammer even more. So you can see right there, it's got the redstone. It's got two mod. It's got modifiers remaining two, and there's the redstone twenty-seven to fifty. So we're gonna put some more redstone in until that gets up to. Wait, why isn't that going up anymore? Thirty-six. Doesn't go up any more than that. Okay, that's kind of odd that it doesn't go up any more than 36, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll bring it to 36. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that's right. You can't put more than one at a time. So if I put one in here and then one in here, they'll they'll work together, but you can't just stack them on top of each other. All right, so that's 5.36, and that is 4.92. Mining speed, 5.36. 5.36. So it actually goes down if I put one in there? No, it's just not showing the output. I get it. Okay. Alright, so let's do that. Can we do it again? Nope. Okay, so that's as far as we can go with that. So the ultimate is 5.36 mining speed. So that's pretty that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Uh let's do the same with the axe, might as well. 1827 oh wow that looks neat look at that look at the look of the axe that's so good and that's now yeah 4.28 36 45 
I think what we could probably do is let's break this up and put the hammer back up there and use the smaller redstone. Yep, see, now the smaller redstone will keep going. 49.50. There we go. We'll bring you up to 50 as well. There's ways you can add more modifiers on these things. I'm not quite 100% on how it works. I have to start streaming this game more. Um, you might see a lot of this on my streams because I gotta learn how to do some of this stuff. And, you know, it's a little bit hard, but I don't have anyone to explain it to me. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna need for... Let's see what we're gonna need for the... Actually, no, that's in the... Uh, that's in here. What we're gonna need to make the uh, aluminate, I don't remember how to say it. Illuminate, yeah, illuminate. So we're gonna need aluminum and iron. All right, aluminum and iron. Aluminum, iron, and aluminum. Okay, so I'm not sure how much. Let's just put a bunch of this stuff in. And a bunch of this stuff. Okay, that stuff's just about done being cooked up. Now we're going to go ahead and make the binding here. And we're going to have to make all of these. Take that out. Take that. And we'll probably put that in there. Oh. Let's take that out. And we got to make the pickaxe head. Might be able to use these two for the pickaxe head. Yeah, cool. We actually use the shards. Never get to use those. All right, you want to make sure the uh, molten aluminum is on the bottom. Three ingots, huh? We need this thing right here, like uh, the pickaxe head, and there we go. All right, then we need the stone binding, and there we go. How, many is, how much is left? Still one ingot left? Good. Good. All right, so that's it for that and that. There we go. We have one now. All right, so we're going to make this out of obsidian. Again, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm not quite sure, and I'm going to explain to this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you about this one more time because maybe I'm just missing it, but when it says right here, you can make stuff. I'm going to go to obsidian just as a as an example. When it's okay, tough as nails but fragile when shaped. Okay, durability, handle modifier, full tool durability. So what does that what does that mean? Like if I use the if I use the the rod, the the the, hand, the obsidian tool rod, it's this handle modifier of 0.8, which means it's less. It's like 20% less. Um, but it's also got reinforced level three. So is that going to be good or not? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Like, and what what does it what does it mean if you use the the pickaxe head? That I guess that means the mining speed. I guess the pickaxe head would be this part. I'm, I'm not really sure how this works. Uh, I need to do this on stream. If you guys could tell me in the comments, that'll be awesome. You guys have been really really unbelievably helpful with this uh, let's play and been very kind to my noobness, and I appreciate it. Uh, molten obsidian. So if you want something on the bottom, you just go to it and you click, and then it should go on the bottom. And now it's on the bottom. So here we go, obsidian handle. Okay, so let's take a look at the obsidian handle. All right, so yeah, it actually has reinforced three and a durability modifier of 0.8. So that means it's gonna be pretty strong, right? Isn't reinforcement means it's strong? I thought reinforcement means it's strong, but eh, whatever. We're gonna, this is gonna be a, a learning process for show. So let's go ahead and make the uh, the head. The head is definitely gonna be out of uh, uh, aluminite for sure. Aluminite, okay. All right, you go down there. Aluminite's the best thing you're gonna get without going into the nether, as far as I can understand. Uh, maybe steel is pretty good too. I don't think it's as good as aluminite though. All right, let's take a look at, oh, let's take a look at that. All right, it's got reinforcement three, durability 700, mining speeds eight, mining level cobalt. That's a good mining level too. All right, so what do we want to make the hilt out of? Let me look into this. Okay, I'm back. And after doing a little bit of uh, 
a little bit of testing and stuff, I went ahead and uh, I made a paper binding for extra, um, what are they called? For extra, extra modifiers. Uh, but the thing already comes with three modifiers, so I kind of, I kind of took that away, and I used, re I used obsidian binding. Now, does it say anything about obsidian binding in the book? Because I know the handle is not good for obsidian, but it doesn't say anything about the binding. So I guess if it doesn't say anything about the binding, maybe it's just good binding. I'm not really sure. Uh, take a look at it. Yeah, it comes with reinforced three. So the binding comes with reinforced three, and no other. Nothing else to it. So this is for the handle. This is for the handle. This is for the head. And this is for the handle. So I think the binding is just like... I don't know. Whatever. It's just like nothing, I guess. Just like good durability. I went ahead and I... Because the binding on the... The obsidian handle does come with the uh, bad durability modifier. I went ahead and made... I went ahead and made an illuminate... Uh, tool rod as well. So let's put this together. I, I got what I want here. It's pretty cool. It does show you what the final product will be before you put it together, which I do really enjoy. So right here we have an Illuminate pickaxe. Durability be 909. It'll have reinforcement three. Um, so yeah, that extra re I mean, the reinforcement two on the 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 handlebar doesn't really matter. I don't think because it still goes only to reinforcement three. Like I don't think there's a reinforcement four. Or whatever, but I don't know, maybe. Um, it does have a mining speed of 8 and cobalt level uh, mining level. So this is a pretty pretty sick pickaxe. Alright, so we're going to want to put some stuff into this pickaxe. And what we're going to do is, we're going to come on over to here and we're going to make some of these blocks. That'll work. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to want speed. But what we're going to want more than speed is fortune. And fortune is done with lapis lazuli, and uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of mining off camera because I might want to get a more a lot more of this lapis lazuli stuff. Uh, so let's do this and like this. Put them all up there. There we go. And yeah, so we're not gonna need this pickaxe anymore. That's damn sure. All right, so we'll put that up, and I think you can only put one block down at a time. Uh, at least you can't stack them. There we go. Three blocks, and look at the little thing on the handle. And it's going to give us luck. Uh, modifiers remaining. I'm not sure. It just says luck. It doesn't say anything about what level of luck, what are the chances. But it's going to give us luck. Alright, so I'm, sh I'm sure the more that Lapis Azuli count is. And look at the count. The count can go up to 450, by the way. So I'm sure the higher that number is, the better off we'll be with our luck. Although, I wish it would tell us about the luck, you know? Uh, I don't know if we want to put more speed on this or not. We could probably put some speed on it. Why not? Can you take uh, modifiers off? That could be a problem. I know you could add modifiers. Let's go ahead and before we put speed on this, let's go ahead and see what other modifiers... Because this thing's already fast. Let's see what other modifiers we can put on this. Where are the modifiers? I'm not sure what book they're in. Uh... Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, extra durability? Meh. Don't really care. I can just repair it. Uh, more durability? Again, don't care. Speed? Probably. Auto repair? Do not... Uh, well, actually, auto repair would be pretty nice. Let's save that last spot for auto repair. We'll save the last slot for auto repair. Um, smelt blocks? No, I don't want to smelt blocks. Uh, by the way, this is how you make the ball of moss. So we're going to have to find some... Some mossy stone or something or figure out how to make that. We'll worry about that later. Um, luck. Okay, here we go. That's fortune or looting, depending on uh, type of tool. Increased level at maximum threshold, but has a chance of increasing before. Sometimes has extra luck to the tool. Not compatible with silky touch. Okay, fair enough. Um, sharpness, that's for swords. So, uh, silky. Well, again, it's not compatible with silky touch, so. Okay. Reinforcement. Adds a material trait. Yeah, okay, reinforcement. Don't care about that. Knockback, that's a sword. Flux, I'm not even sure what that is. Might have something to do with power. Additional modifiers, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go with speed. And then eventually we'll do auto repair. So it looks like speed's modifier can only go up to 50 no matter what you're putting it on. Okay. 
4950. All right, we need more lapis lazuli. Let's go. Let's just put all the lapis lazuli on it. I don't know of anything I'm going to need lapis lazuli for right now. So, screw it. Let's just do it all. I want the luck to be as high on this as I can possibly get it. Uh, there we go. It's gonna be an awesome pickaxe. Okay, so we will still use, well, actually maybe we won't use the bronze hammer anymore. Depending on what's in the area, we might still use the bronze hammer. I like to keep the bronze hammer at the edge because uh, with the bronze hammer, anything that's to the right of the bronze hammer, you can see right there, I have a torch there. If you right click, it'll place that item down, which is pretty sweet. Let's do a little bit of mining here. We only have a we only have a, like a minute left in this video, so we're gonna do a little bit of mining. Let's see what we could do. I got some exposed diamond down below I wanna take a look at. All right, plus also with that uh with that whole down yellow arrow, it means you could keep one item in your inventory, like cobblestone, and as you place down the cobblestone, the cobblestone in your bag will automatically refill that cobblestone. Like, um, just throw this down, pick it up. That should go in the bag. Okay, now as we, and watch it, watch this stack number on cobblestone, 64. See, it gets replaced. Oh, this thing's sweet. This thing is sweet. I love it. See, I don't think, I don't think luck works on blocks, like block blocks, the things that drop blocks. Which is a shame because I'd kind of want it to work on something like, uh, like iron. Wait, that dropped two. Oh yeah, there's three total. Never mind. But it will work on things like coal. Redstone, diamond, stuff like that. They should give you a little, like, noise or something. Some indication of when the luck actually clicks. Like, when it works, you know? Because I'm, I'm assuming it doesn't work all the time. Let's see how many, uh... Let's see how much coal drops at one single coal node. That should be just one coal. Okay, that's just one coal. Okay. So, that is just one coal. So, let's try our pickaxe and see if we get more than one. That's just one. That's one. That's one. There you go, there's a few. There we go, there's a couple, okay. All right, we gotta get some diamond. Let's uh, cut around this diamond, make sure there's no lava underneath it. One, two. Did that one even get picked up? Oh, that was another two. One. One. Sometimes they go on top of each other. It's really... Yeah, that was just one. Okay, so... um, The luck on this pickaxe is definitely... Uh, it's definitely pulling its weight. I'm going to do some mining off camera. That's going to be it for episode 11. And I'll see you next time for episode 12. Till then, take it easy.